The Spider's Thread. One morning, Buddha in heaven was taking a stroll alone by the lotus pond. Oh, what a pleasant morning! The flowers in the lotus pond are all so beautiful and smell so nice. After a while, Buddha suddenly paused and looked down into the bottom of the lotus pond. The bottom of the lotus pond was connected. To the afterlife world, hell, and through the lotus leaves on the water surface, he could clearly see what was going on there. Then, among the many people in hell, a single sinner caught Buddha's eye. The sinner was the great thief Kandata. Kandata was struggling for breath in the hell's blood pond that was filled with crimson blood. Hmm, Kandata, he has done a whole lot of bad things during his lifetime. If he had done even a single good thing, I could have considered saving him. What a shame! At that moment, Buddha remembered that only once Kandata did a good thing in his entire life. A long time ago, Kandata has saved. A single spider. Although he almost stomped on the spider crawling on the edge of a path, he thought it would be too cruel to kill it needlessly, and thus let it pass. Then, atop the lotus flower, a single spider was stretching its beautiful silver thread. Buddha picked up the spider. And let the beautiful silver thread, coming out of its spinneret, hang straight down to the bottom of the pond. Meanwhile, in the hell's blood pond, Kandata was groaning in pain. Damn it! Even a great thief like me can't do anything here. Am I meant to struggle in pain and drown like a half-dead frog? Then, from above, a single shiny silver thread came hanging down. Huh? What's this thread? Oh, I got it. If I climb up this thing, I can get out of hell. Wait, maybe. I can even get to heaven that way. Kandata then grabbed onto the thread and started to climb towards heaven. Although he kept on climbing up the thread for hours, there was a great distance between heaven and hell. Phew. And let's take a break here. Huh? What's that? At this point, Kandata noticed it for the first time. From far below, the other sinners in hell were also climbing up the thread, thinking the same thing Kandata was. This is no good. At this rate. The thread would rip before I get to heaven. Hey, you guys, get off right now! Kandata, while shouting loudly, tried to swing the thread to shake off the other sinners. Then, snap! The thread in his hand suddenly ripped. Oh shucks! This way, together with the other sinners, Kandata fell back into Hell's blood pond.
From the edge of the lotus pond in heaven, Buddha was watching every bit of what had happened down there. What a pitiful man. If he didn't think only about himself, maybe it wouldn't have been like this. After giving a small sigh, Buddha got back to his stroll. As the lotus flowers gave off their pleasant aroma, heaven was about to welcome its noon in silence.